That's a fish. All right, good morning, y'all. I'm out here again at uh, my community dock. I'm gonna head out to the river. So this is some, gonna be some fall fishing. It's uh, pretty early November, and the water's just starting to kind of cool down. I'm gonna be using some jerk baits mainly. As the sun comes out, it gets a little warmer. Maybe I'll go down on the water column a little bit with a, uh, a swim bait on jig head. But right now the tide is high, as you can see. I'll make sure to put the temperature, the barometric pressure, the tide cycles, what lure I'm using, and even the water temperature here so that you guys can replicate exactly what it is I'm doing and apply it to your body of water, or if you come visit, you can apply it here. I definitely think I can get on the trout. Trout's been pretty phenomenal lately, and it's only gonna get better as the temperatures cool down here in Charleston. So thanks again for watching, welcome back, and I'll see you on the water in just a minute. That's a fish. It's a good trout right there. Nice. Nice. One big old fang on him. All right, so that tells me that I've been throwing a lot at these docks, and uh, that fish was right on the, on the grass line. Um, one of the two places I knew they'd be. So here's the retrieve I like. All right, so I'm gonna reel it in a little bit and then I'm gonna twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, 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 pause. I'm just trying to be erratic. A lot of times they're gonna hit it on that pause. So that lure is just going and then stopping floating a little bit and then it's going back down. It just looks like a dying bait. Especially as this water starts to cool down, a lot of the bait fish, is gonna die and they're just gonna look super erratic in the water and that's this is gonna be the time to use these uh jerk baits and also twitch bait because they have a little bit less movement and uh in the winter and when things get cold um, these fish like it slow and they like it not as aggressive i think this time of year they're still gonna respond to the jerk bait but i'm just testing out the good old tried and true swim bait in this case it's a three inch minnows um, bad shad on an eighth ounce on an eighth ounce um, trout eye jig head it's my go-to lure right here I catch them all year round with this and I just put a little bit of pro cure inshore salt water pro cure got a creek that's going in in the main channel and then right there's that grass grass point which should have some hard bottom on it as well another great place to cast to and there should be some trout sitting there there's a fish nice all right I guess I'm gonna go that way so that's a, that's a nice little fish right there I'll send it back see if we can catch more that's two right now I'm uh, I think I'm being pushed by the wind a little bit but you can just pedal all the way down or up a bank, hands-free, while you're casting the entire time. So many more fish just because your, your hooks are in the water the entire time. So for this saltwater bait, bait casting setup, I'm using a St. Croix Avid X on a Shimano um, Cronark reel. I've got 20 pound, maybe it's 15 pound Power Pro and Honestly, I'm just straight braid connection. I don't have any leader. These are micro eyelets on this rod. And so any line to line knot kind of gets hung up for a second. All right, I'm gonna cover some ground in doing so. I just put out this jerk bait. I'm gonna hold it out far right. So it's right on the grass line. I know it's not gonna dive terribly deep and get snagged up. So it, it might just catch some trout doing this trolling with the current a little bit here. I should be able to pick up a trout or two. I'm barely moving that lure. 
doesn't feel too big. I think it might be a blue fish. Let's see. No, it's another trout. Getting it done, y'all. Trout number three. Woo! Current rip right here. It's been pretty featureless for a minute. So, current, or the wind is pushing the current this way across this point, and then I've got this little mouth, creek mouth right here to my left. As these creeks merge, there's a bunch of like isolated little areas. The tide falls and goes this way. These fish will be on the backside. Something just flashed up on my lure right there as it sat on the surface. Maybe it'll be on camera. It was just floating. Tells me maybe I should slow down a little bit. And as soon as I slow down, here's a trout. Okay. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give it some extended pauses here and see if that helps. Well, best is still yet to come. Tide is coming down a little bit, and um, I've got some areas that I think are going to hold some good fish. So I was in the Marines for about 10 years, and then I was also in law enforcement for nine. So this has been my solace out here on the water. Um, just having peace and peace in nature has been my thing. But I want to take away some stigma and also try to normalize it a little bit. Just feeling isolated and feeling like you know stones are in your backpack um, you know just continue to be put in and you just feel weighed down um, there's nothing wrong with seeking help and getting help and there's a lot of great resources out there you know I found that uh, we have veterans on deck which is a, a sailing um, a sailing resource where we learn how to sail we learn how to work on the boats and they do several sails every single week out of the Charleston Marina there's also heroes on the water which does just what I'm doing right now. They provide you with kayak stuff, they provide you with fishing stuff, and they'll take you out to a place where you're gonna have a lot of camaraderie and also learn how to, you know, learn how to fish. So I'm gonna just continue on, hopefully not get hit by a boat while I'm crossing the river, and I'm gonna hit this spot over here. If you're enjoying this content and are like-minded, go ahead and like and subscribe because there's a video like this every single week. Beautiful current break, I'm seeing and hearing fish breaking the surface around here. Right there, that current is just flying. There's a hit. Yeah, right there in that current. Right where it was supposed to be. Right where those uh, bait fish were all going crazy. This isn't a bad fish. Nice. Feels good. It's a blue fish. Very oily fish. Nasty teeth on them too. There he goes. There's a fish. Man, he just picked it up. He didn't do anything. Yeah, that felt like flounder. See if I can't catch me a redfish here in a minute and finish that red inshore slam that seems to be so easy here in the fall. I'll check out that buck. It's a nice buck. <laughs> There's a fish. Finally, a redfish. Yeah, buddy. Wow. Well, took a while to find a redfish. Finally did. Nice. Beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, buddy. So strong. Look at those other fish over there scaring. So strong. Let's fire it up. <sighs> Got him. All right, y'all. Here's that red fish I just caught. Beautiful fish. And it's very light colored. A lot of times you'll see them light colored like this when they're in the sand, living off the beach. And then you find them really dark when they're up in the grass. Um, this one's super pink. They also get lighter in the in the winter. Thanks for watching, 
and make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this every week. What a mess. I don't really feel like respooling the whole thing. Plus I've got a bunch of line out right now. Just above my reel. I'm gonna go ahead and snip that braid. Collect that excess of off. I'm just gonna do a really quick uni to uni knot connection. Five. And then I do the other direction. My luck, a fish is gonna take my lure that's out. All right, and just like that, I'm spliced and I can keep fishing. Oh shit. Y'all, I just got a big hit. I've been trolling this crankbait. Yep. Oof. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Cause it uh, it floats when you're not moving and it, so it doesn't snag. And this, this trout hit it like a much bigger fish. I'm surprised it's not a bigger fish, but uh, that's kind of cool. That's at least half a dozen trout. It's a good day. All right guys, thanks for watching today. Most of my fish today were caught on um, 110 size jerk bait. This one's custom painted by Mayhem Fishing. I'll have a link for them in my description. And then as the water cools down here, I like to use jerk baits. And then I also like to use a twitch bait. This one's made by Yoziri Lures. And then you also have um, like Mirror Lure, Mirror Dine. Um, MR 17 style um, twitch baits. But the good thing about these is you can fish them very slow. But think this rate of fall is like half a foot a second. So you're gonna, and it doesn't wobble nearly as much as the jerk bait. So it's a little less aggressive, really good in cold water, especially as some of the bait that's left over when it gets cold here in the winter and late fall. A lot of times it gets too cold in these creeks and these bait kind of die. And the way this looks is it just kind of goes off one way and then it slowly falls it goes up and slowly falls it looks just like a dying bait fish but that was super fun fishing we managed to catch our slam and catch a bunch of trout in the process um, all of the baits I'm using are in my description and my links are affiliate links so it helps me out a little bit when you buy off of the links so if you're gonna buy already and you're gonna buy especially from like Amazon some lures or some hooks and whatnot um, it really helps me out if you guys use my uh, the links that I provide in my in my video But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in another few days